All right. Hi, Chi Chi. <laughs> I believe I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. We'll see. How you doing, Chi Chi? Today we are working on my beanie for my daughter. We're about halfway through the length of it, so. Is the volume okay? Is it too loud, too low? Get the yarn in the right place. Oh, I know what I was forgetting. I need a little more light. Why are you being mean? My light is being mean. Just a second here. does not like the port I have my light in. Try this again. So I guess I won't have the extra light. Oh well. A good mix. Found out my washable marker stained my Pokemon cross stitch. Ooh! But headed to a crafty, crafter's meetup nice crafters meetups are nice I have a uh, cross stitch group that I go to once a month so they have knitting groups but I don't have the time off when they have those days <laughs> it's really sucks about the marker that's one thing I'm glad that you know I do use washable markers on mine but I've got to where I just barely put any like just put a small point on it so I'm hoping if it does mess up that you won't be able to notice crap hold on I'm not at the right tension there we go That really sucks about it staining your fabric. I'm sorry about that. Right, I totally get that. I we have one. We have the cross stitchers meet up once a week, uh, once a month. Um, but a lot of them are are knitters, so. Um, I can talk knitting with them and they like bringing um, they've had me bring my knitting stuff in a few times so that they could look at it since I started so that's pretty cool and the meetup is in a craft store and everything like that so that's pretty cool And this yarn are having issues today. Um, yeah, it's in a it's about an hour drive away from me, so I couldn't do it all the time anyway. So once a month, you know, it's okay. I can handle once a month. And uh, it's for we get there. Most people get there around 10.30 and we're there till four. So it's a nice long day of hanging out and chatting. Oh, wow. Last second, that sucks. Yeah. 
Now, the one thing I like about this group is it's actually set up through the um, craft store. Um, so you, the way it works is to reserve your spot, you um, pay $5. Um, and then when you go in, you get your $5 back. So it's just kind of try to guarantee, you know, give you an incentive to make sure you show up for your meeting. Um, it's been, this year it was really consistent, like it, every second um, Saturday of the month they had the meeting. Next month it's a little different. Uh, next year is going to be different because um, the store has the Saturday, the second Saturday of the month already booked. So the days are going, the month time of frame in the month is going to change next year, but it's all good. We have the dates ahead of time so we can at least plan for them. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, this was a quilting store to start with. It's been open for over seven years. And uh, just in the last few years have they gotten into cross stitch. Um, I didn't even know about it until like middle of this year, I think. I think I found it. I knew about it back in 2020, but it was only listed as quilting. It had no, it didn't show any cross stitch stuff, so I didn't even, you know, think to go look at it because I'm not into quilting. Um, wasn't into knitting or yarn or anything like that, so I didn't have much interest in that store. Now, you know, I really enjoy it. They actually have their own floss tube channel, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, I really enjoy the stitch with the uh, going to go stitch. You get to see all the crazy patterns and you know that people are working on. It's amazing. Uh oh, don't do that. Don't thread it. Bad. I did a Stitch With Me video for my YouTube last night, and I figured I'd get my Twitch channel in today. I did not get done on Tuesday. Um, had a, ended up having a doctor's appointment that my husband had to get to, so I didn't have the time Tuesday morning like I had planned on streaming. Um, so I know I'm doing it today. Um, not sure what the plans are exactly for this week. I know I'm still getting used to the new shift and everything like that. Yeah. I definitely would boycott that store. It, it's like, it's your choice on what you use. Whether you stitch in hand, hoops, scroll frame, it does not matter. There's no right or wrong way, in my opinion. And that should be everybody's opinion. If you want to cross, if you want to sit there and use the whole six strands on your project, do it. It's your choice. I don't like people like that. They make me mad. Uh, take that. I'm a very nice person and tell you to just do something stupid and then I don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, 
Yeah, boycott that place for sure. I don't want nothing to do with that. Definitely, yup. You do what you prefer. I mean, I use all three. I use hoops. I don't prefer hoops, but I use them. I use goal frames. I use um, Q snaps. Heck, I've even been using these newer ones uh, from Archer. They're just little rubber bit, like rubber things over. Those are good for um, like when you're done with the project. They're, they're good to use for um, finishing as well. That's kind of why I like them. I can stitch with them and then I can use it for a finish. But I got those, um, I found those at uh, Hobby Lobby. No, Michaels. I found those at Michaels. Nice, yeah. I really don't use Q-snaps that often anymore. My preferred is the scroll frames. But I don't hold mine in hand at all. I hate holding my frames in hand. I, I like stitching with the two hands and I don't like fighting with the frame. Uh-oh. -uh. Hold on. Let go. Thank you. Don't split. Oops, not from here. Yes, Lowry. Yeah, I like my Lowry. Um, I've also invested in some K Creation stands as well because. I stitch in so many different places. I needed more than one floor stand. And I found a sale on the Lauer, on the K Creation stands that I decided I wanted. I was gonna give them a try. Um, the stand itself is a pain. Um, it doesn't hold the frame the way I like, but I have found a workaround through seeing somebody else do it. I had a lap stand that I didn't really like very well, but I love this part of the stand. I didn't like the feet of them. Somebody took their floor stand and attached this to it. So now I attach this to the clamp on the K Creation stands. See if I can get this in the view. See, like, no, this is too low. See, this has a clamp, and I clamp it on the stand to put it where I can put my thing here. Don't know if you can see that very well, but it makes it so that I don't have to hook and unhook. Um, my stand all the time, my um, frame. I don't have to clamp the frame down. The clamp onto the frame when I'm working, I can just set it on there. I don't mind the Lowry stand at all for that because it has a solid hold and it's normally holding on the edge of my project where these hold in the center of them. So uh, I'm always afraid they're gonna mess up the stitches or something like that. And, uh, and I needed multiple stands because I don't like, I hate dragging it around. And I have so many places that I end up stitching because I have my work desk, I stitch there. I have my personal, my desk here. Um, I have um, my chairs downstairs. And then um, I actually like taking my Lowry stand with me when we go when I go stitching at the stitch store so it's like 
I was dragging it everywhere. Yeah. Everybody has their preferences, and I see a lot of them I'd really love to have, but I just don't want to pay the price for them. Whoops. I will get this pearl stitch down one day where I don't keep fighting with it. I think the problem too is this thread is a little on the small side, so it likes to slip through my fingers real easy. Oops, don't do that. <laughs> Have you shown a picture of where your Pokemon is at recently? I haven't seen it in a while. I I look through Discord, but I don't, you know, like if you've posted it in any of the Discords, I look through Discord, but I don't always look closely at Discord because I get, I have so many, I get behind on whose I've viewed and whose I've not. Need to go through and leave some of the ones I don't never go in anymore because I've got a few that are at the bottom of my thing that I've not touched in over a year. I've gone in. Duos. Oh, I need your Instagram. I don't think I have you. I've uh over the last year I've started using Instagram a lot more. I post a lot of my work on there. Normally, most days when I do any stitching or knitting, I tend to post. Chee cheesy kitty. Okay, I'll get you added so I can see your stuff. I like seeing everybody's stuff. <laughs> Uh, I tend to get on Instagram daily just to look and see who's done what. Might not be on it very long, but I do pop on to look and like pictures. Ooh. 45 minutes before I gotta get ready to go to work. Yay! Oh well. Yeah, I agree. That's why I started up using Instagram again. I mean, I've had it for years. Um, I don't remember why I got it, but I know I've, I've had it for a long time. And, uh, when I started doing the YouTube channel, people started talking about their Instagrams. So I was like, well, okay, well, let me update my Instagram. So I updated my username. Uh oh. I knitted there. I purled here where I should have knitted. Oh well. It'll be a knit now. Oh well. Oh. Who's there? Uh, 
Who's where? I'm sorry, I don't understand who's, who's there, question. The YouTube channels? Oh, <laughs> my bad. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. That's a. <laughs> I was totally confused. I had no clue. All righty, you have a great day. Have a great uh, crafty day. I'll see you around. Thank you for coming in to visit with me. I appreciate it so much. Okay. Oops. Let's go here. Oh, I forgot to set it up for the chat. I really need to take the time to get it where my chat is showing on my screen for my channel. So that in it, when I post this on YouTube, they can see what is being said. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm making this hat for my daughter. She loves the color yellow. So, I finished a sock the other day, my first one. Now I've got to work on the second one, the second sock. And hopefully I can get it the same way. I took down counts of like, where I was at, like what length I was at and stuff like that. I also have the sock here to measure it with one another. So, hopefully, we'll see. Hi, Zeritzi. I got a kitty right here. What you doing, baby? Ritzy, don't stand on the keyboard, please. She's gonna go back over that way. I need to get my 3D printer working again. I made myself a little craft bowl. Oops, right here. I got a little mini one, and then I got a kitty one. Made it for the bigger bowls, the uh, balls I have. So, but I want to make uh, I want to make a few more because I end up I actually have about eight projects and I would like to have them in little bowls. Um, 
so I don't always have to keep moving them around. <laughs> and I switch between all the projects continuously. So, I don't know, I'm not very good at knitting it just with just one thing. I have to have even cross stitch. I have to have multiple things going. I have to switch up between them. I can't, I can't focus on just one thing. I have to keep focusing on multiples. Um, probably why I have clean, have trouble cleaning in life because I can't just focus on cleaning one room. It's like uh, I need to do here and I need to do here. I'll start over here. Oh wait, let me finish over here. But I never seem to get anything done because I get so wore out. It's like, okay, doesn't look like I've done anything, but I'm done. Hold on. Let's see what did I do here? This should have been a pearl. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. These are not my favorite knitting needles, but I bought these at Walmart. <laughs> Don't really like the band on them. The needles themselves are fine. I just don't like the this stuff. I'm afraid I'm going to rip it out too easy. But that was what I had at the time. And I was impatient and didn't want to wait to go to one of the other stores. <laughs> But that'll work. Do, do, do. I think today, while I'm working, if I have time, I'll work on my sock and my scarf. I have a scarf that I'm making with a, um, I think it's called a fisherman's rib, I think is what it's called. I don't know. That's what it looks like. So. I like it because the design is on both sides, so I can use it either way. Um, I made it, I made a, this is all scrap yarn. So, um, when I started knitting, I told my mom and she got me a ton, she had a tote of old, uh, all kinds of yarn, so she gave it to me. It had um, had a lot of decent sized balls of yarn, but it had a bunch of little ones as well. And it had some that the balls of yarn had a bunch of like cut pieces in it. So it's like, I had to like, like you'd be winding it up and you'd all of a sudden you'd be at the end, uh, at, have a thread you know the end of the thread you still have a full ball so I took a lot of those and winded them up into this other one um, for a scarf uh, I think they're called scrap cart scrap scarves yeah you just use all your scraps um, I have a blanket the same way because some of the 
some of the yarn it's like there's not enough of it to make like a hat or anything like that um they're not the greatest um texture for yarn they're kind of on the rough side they're not smooth and soft but they'll be good for like an overthrow blanket you know i like i'm wanting to make a blanket that'll go over my on my bed um over the my normal blanket so that's what i'm making on that i'm not stitching i'm not knitting on it very often but i do knit on it every now and then um that's a my hands start cramping on it because it, it's about 200 uh, i think i went 220 stitches long because i wanted over a little over a twin size um so when i stitch on it my hands start getting tired Um, and then I have my shoulder wrap, which I really like it, and I really like the the thread that I'm using, or the yarn I'm using for it. Yeah, I did that right. Um, it's not really expensive yarn or anything like that, but... And then um, I have let's see I bought some yarn from Joann's this week they had a online sale so the yarn that normally cost ten dollars only cost about three so I bought some of those um it's yarn i've been looking at since i first started knitting um i loved variegated uh i don't know what they're called um, in thread it's called variegated um, i'm not sure what it's called for yarn do you do I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I'll figure out what they... Here it is. This is the yarn I bought. It's Lion Brand's Mon Mandala yarn. And this is the colors. I just really liked the greens. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a beautiful thing. Whatever I decide to make out of it. And then I've got this one. It's 100% acrylic, but that's mostly what I use. It's a size three yarn, so I can do a couple of different things from it. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I just know that I really liked them and I wanted them. <laughs> do, 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 do.
I've really been enjoying, like I've got a promotion at my job. Um, that's why my shift changed. And so far it's been interesting. I'm learning all the ins and outs of what I can and can't do. Um, well, not what I can't, you know, what my, my job is. Um, so that's been pretty cool. I still have a lot to learn, but we're getting there. Really enjoyed it. Oh, that's what I can say. Um, I did a um, I train I did a training class for a lot of the um, for a group of the new hires yesterday. First time ever doing it. Was totally unprepared. Um, luckily, most everybody that was um, doing the training had shadowed me recently, so they know I just recently got promoted. So, do, 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 do. Got about 20 more minutes, and then I'm gonna have to call the stream so I can get ready for work. I know the streams are only about an hour, but I don't really get up too much earlier than seven o'clock. When I try to wake up any earlier, my body just doesn't want to wake up. I don't know. But I wake up on cue at almost 7 o'clock. It's like, I wake up just before the alarm goes off. Don't know why. I mean, I was used to waking up at 6.30. My husband hated it because I'd have an alarm. I'd, <laughs> I'd have multiple alarms going off to tell me when to get up. And when, like, when this alarm goes off, I must get up. There's no option. So, he kind of likes the new shift change, because normally he only hears one alarm go off <laughs> instead of five. Because I admit, I had so many set because he's he would finally just be like, get up. So, I don't know. Just one of those things. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I will say, I really have been taken to knitting. I kind of, you know, right now it's almost taken over my cross-stitch phase. Um, I still enjoy my cross-stitch, but it's like, do I want to knit? Do I want to cross-stitch? Do I want to knit? Do I want to cross-stitch? Can I do both? Is there a way I can do both at the same time? I need more hands. Can I have more hands? Please? Shift, shift, shift. Move it, move it, move it. Wrap it around. There we go. So 
I will be uploading this video to YouTube just because. See how that goes. Dun, 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 dun. It's funny, sometimes I get my hands in the perfect place and everything is going right and good and then gets to where I have to shift the all everything around and then I lose the way I'm holding it and have to try to get back to it. I always try to pick it up the way I had it, but I don't never seem to pick it up the way I had it. Always seems to take time to get back into the right area again. Sometimes it also depends on how it's pulling out of the ball as well. If it's tight tension out of the ball or loose tension out of the ball. I actually picked it up pretty close to where I was at before, so that's kind of cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, people. Oh, come on. One day I'll get faster at knitting. Right now I feel like I'm slow as molasses. Especially when it comes to purling. It's not so bad when I'm knitting, but when I in when I purl, that's where I really notice where I run kind of on the slow side. But I'm also still in the learning phases of purling too, in my opinion. I know the basics of it, but slowly learning how to purl it. I just, I feel like I do an extra step because like, Hold on, I confused myself. It's a knit. <laughs> I was trying to purl in the middle of a knit. <laughs> like I'm trying, like I, I tend to hold this here where I see a lot of people who don't. So I don't know. I try to copy other people, but unfortunately you just gotta learn your own way to do things. Same with knitting, uh, with cross stitch. You just find your own niche and do it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Come on. Sorry, I'm not all that talkative at the moment, guys. Mm, not sure what to talk about. 
And it's different talking and knitting, especially when you're still on the new side to it. I really um, have uh, want to, I would love to find a knitting group around here that I can go and uh, sit and knit and watch and get pointers from. I mean, I have everybody tell me I've got good tension um, just by looking at it. But, you know, I always feel like you can improve. Could be something that I'm doing that could be, you know, easier. <laughs> Who knows? Do -do -do -do. Just a relaxing morning. We'll say I do like my mornings, you know, not having to wake up and instantaneous clock in. It has been nice just being able to wake up and do some knitting. I don't really do much cross stitching in the mornings before work, but I have picked up knitting a couple of times. And I will say, I like taking my knitting places with me more than my cross stitch. Um, it's just easier to pull out and start working on it and not have to worry about, do I have the pattern? Am I at a part where it's just fill or do I need to follow along in the, pa in the pattern? Do, do, do. Might make one more round before I have to end. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Let's do this real quick. I didn't mean I had a name. Oops. I forgot about rolling the ads.
Da, 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 da. All right, a little bit longer here, and then I'll see. I know I don't have many people, but I'll still see if there's anybody available to raid. Always open to making new friends. Da, 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 da. Here, here. I get done with this. I'll go set up my work computer, pull up a couple of YouTube videos. Um, most of the people I watch on Twitch right now are all in the evening and the afternoons, so I'll come back to Twitch later. I'll watch my YouTube videos in the mornings. And normally, my Twitch people in the afternoons. So. Do, 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 do. I can't always have the chat, uh, the sound on when I watch things, but I can at least sometimes look at them. YouTube videos I tend to pause a lot until I get back to them. Alright, it is 8.30. We'll go a little further in this row because I hate ending right at the stitch marker. I don't want to lose it so I always go probably about 10 or 15 more stitches before I quit on this project Alright, a few more and then we are going to call it a stream. I'll go and look and see if I can find any crafters on YouTube to go watch. So I'm going to end there. That's down there, that's there. Let's pull that forward. Put that, 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 and there. Alrighty. Oh, excuse me. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Anybody on? Let's refresh here. What do we got people doing? Do do. Any crafty people? Do 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 do.
I'm not seeing anybody that I would watch. Okay, so I'm just going to be ending this. I'm not going to raid anybody because there's really nothing I would watch right now. Mostly it's 3D printing stuff. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. I appreciate anybody who happened to pop in. Um, and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my knitting. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye, everybody.